In this video, I'm gonna break down exactly how we are able to take a gym from $14,000 a month to $38,000 a month by just changing one simple thing. That's it. Welcome to the second episode of Gym Rescue, where I take a gym model that my sales team gives me, basically a rough estimate of their numbers that they're currently doing, and I break down their model that they're currently working and give you one or two things that we would do immediately to help them reach more people, change more lives, more importantly, stack cash for the owners as they go. I'm gonna break down a CrossFit gym. So this CrossFit gym has 7,500 square feet of gym space, which is really, it's a massive gym. They currently have about 175, 180 members. So for all the numbers that I'm gonna use right now, I'm gonna base it off of 180 members. I think the range went up to 190, but I'll kind of stick to that 180. Their monthly revenue right now is $14,000, which is, to be frank, with that amount of members is pretty abysmal. It's very, very low, which tells me everything I need to know about their current pricing strategy. What's unfortunate is that their current pricing strategy is unlimited CrossFit classes for the month is 125 a month. The second thing that they're doing is basically three times a week is $100 and they do a military discount of 110. I have no problem with military discount, but those prices are already way too low that you're not gonna be able to make a profit. They are making a small profit right now. However, you're having to deal with so many different people to make such a little amount of money that it makes zero sense for a business. At $14,000 with 180 members, that means their average client value is not 125. It's not 110 with a military discount. It's not even $100, it's $78. It's actually less than $78, it's like 77. I know health clubs and big box gyms that charge that for just a monthly access fee just to access the facility. And yet they're coming in and getting getting actual coaching by people who have gone through certifications, paid good money, and have a lot of experience. This is where we come in, and this is where we change gyms. So right now, you, we already know their membership structure. I don't know their churn numbers. I don't know their rent. I don't know their the details of their expenses, but I do know right now at $14,000 a month, they're roughly profiting around $4,000 per month, which isn't too shabby based on that. It's a 28% net margins. I'm also gonna use that for the changes that we're gonna make, and we're gonna keep that same profit margin as we change what we have. Now, the first lever that I would do, and this is different than if this gym did not have a lot of members, but because they have a lot of members, they have a lot of members that they could technically lose, and I'll show you why in just a second. The very first lever that I would pull is I would immediately, and it's technically three levers in one, is I would change pricing, I would move the membership to three times a week for everyone, and I would change their billing to every 28 days. And I'll show you what that means here from a number standpoint. At 180 members, currently, right now, their average weekly rate that they're getting is roughly $18. We're going to move it to $49 a week. Yes. But we're also going to get rid of unlimited and we're going to move all memberships to three times a week, which takes them from whatever their current capacity might have been to it doubles their capacity because you can have people come Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then you could have the same amount of people come Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, or just mix them in. But when you have three times a week, you're able to essentially double your capacity no matter what. That's the first thing. So $49 a week and then three times a week for their memberships. What that does immediately, if no one leaves, again, this is perfect scenario and I'll walk through how many people they could lose, but perfect scenario, if no one leaves, they go from $14,000 a month to $38,000 a month without adding a single client, without running an ad, without adding a class, without doing a single thing, which means that their yearly revenue goes from $168,000 to $455,000. And that's if they're just billing on a monthly basis. When we pull lever number three, which is bill every 28 days, they get an extra billing cycle, which means now they go into $493,000, almost half a million dollars, just by pulling those levers. Again, they don't have to run ads. They don't have to do anything else. They are literally going from $14,000 or $168,000 a year to almost half a million dollars without adding a single client, class, or anything else. That's huge. Now that's a perfect scenario. That's if no one left. So let's play devil's advocate. Let's say a whole bunch of people leave. Well, guess what? They could lose 114 clients. That is 63% of their current clientele and still make the exact same amount of money that they are right now, just with way less headache. So you think of all those people that might leave and we might think, well, I'm trying to change the world. I'm trying to impact. Here's the deal. I can pretty much guarantee you if you lost 114 clients, then you're probably not providing the best service because if you made that jump, then you're already not providing a great service. If you are providing a great service, then most of your clients will probably know that you are well underpriced and that this is a very fair and reasonable pricing structure that you're moving to. And the way that we teach our clients is we actually give them a letter. We give them exactly what to tell their current clients on why they're switching, why they're making the changes. What's crazy about this is the profit goes from $4,000 a month for the gym owners to over $10,000 a month. So they immediately start making $120,000 or more every single year just by making that switch, which is absolutely insane. It's 
a very easy one to do. This is also probably the hardest switch that any gym owner has because most people are married to their pricing. A lot of times they don't think that they're good enough to be able to charge that. And frankly, a lot of them need to improve their fulfillment. So we would also work on that. But those are the three immediate levers that I would do. So recap real quick. We would change their pricing structure from 125 for unlimited $100 for three times a week and 110 for military discounts. And we would go immediately to $49 a week for three time a week membership. We would change everybody to that. And then we would also add in the fact that they're now being billed every 28 days, not monthly. If we do it every 28 days, we get an extra billing cycle at the end of the year. So we're making almost half a million dollars from this facility if no one leaves. And just to back it up again, recap, they can lose 63% of their clientele. 63%, it's never happened. 63% of their clientele and still make the same amount of money. The second thing that I would immediately begin to do is I would start running ads. So I would start acquisition and bringing a whole bunch of new people in at this new pricing structure. And I would sell them on either a six week or an eight week challenge, have them come in. That's the onboarding process. So I can start collecting a bunch of cash and we could quickly scale this type of facility easily because it has the space just like that. Probably in about 12 months. If they follow the process and the structure because they don't currently offer any semi-private upsells or anything like that. So that leaves an, a massive opening for us to go in or the gym owner to go in and be able to now provide an Ascension model and another level of service to help them ultimately provide a better service and provide a service for people that are willing to pay more. That's what I would do. And so if you're a CrossFit gym or you're a gym that is currently offering unlimited classes or this type of pricing structure where you're 125 or less, you are running a broken model and you need to switch. You probably already know it. You just don't want to face the facts. I hear this a lot with a lot of gym owners. They come to us and they're like, Kale, I can't do this. Like, I, there's no way. I would rather not raise the prices on this. And one of the things that is a good thing to remember is that you're going to have a hard conversation with someone. That hard conversation is either going to be with your members who, to be frank, will leave you for another trainer when they go start another gym anyway, and you know it, or you can have the hard conversation with your spouse and landlord. For me, I would prefer to have it with my clients rather than with my spouse or landlord. And so I would make sure that you're loyal to the business and what's best for the business. And we have done this over 4,600 different times and this pricing structure works. It works in over 4,600 different markets. This is the type of structure that you need to. So if you're a gym owner that wants to get paid what you feel like you deserve and provide an exceptional service, reach more people, change more lives, and ultimately stack more cash, this is a very simple way to do this. So we call these profit levers. And these are things that you can pull inside of your gym that require you to get no new clients. You don't have to add any classes. You don't have to do anything. It's just simple levers that you can pull that have a massive impact on your business. And we do this all the time with gyms. And this is how we would take this gym from $14,000 a month to $38,000 a month and turn them into a massively profitable facility right away. So if you like this type of information, you like this stuff, hit the like, hit the subscribe button. And then down below in the description, there's an opportunity for you to learn how we build and scale gyms like clockwork from wherever they're at to over $100,000 a month and it's called the seven money model. So you can grab that for free by clicking the link in the description. Opting in, we'll send it over to you and email it to you. My only request is that you take that, you read it, you go through it, you watch the videos associated with it, and then just implement it inside of your gym so that you too can have a bigger impact in your community and change more lives.